Happy post Black Friday, everybody. What a crazy week it was because Black Friday is not a single day, neither is Cyber Monday. The deals just seem to happen all before. If you wait until Friday, if you wait until Monday, you pretty much miss out on every deal. So um, I don't know if anyone went to store. I certainly didn't. Uh, I went online. I think most people probably just do their shopping online now for this kind of stuff. But anyways, let's just dive right into it. My haul, my, my delicious haul. So I've been waiting for Dying Light to come out at a cheaper price. I loved the first game. I even started playing it again on Switch. I loved playing with my brother. We could connect online. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this one's kind of getting mixed reviews, so I, I just didn't want to play a full price. The original game as well, just when it launched, was not uh, met with very good reviews. People didn't like it. And then it got better and better and became what I think is just one of the best zombie games ever made. And now this one, I'm not really sure where it's at. There's been updates. I don't know if it almost has the same story, but anyways, I'm ready to dive into it. $20, and I follow IGN for a lot of stuff and other YouTubers, and no one highlighted this discount, and it was on Amazon. On the PlayStation Store, it never really goes below $30, so I've never gotten it digitally, but I got it here for 20 bucks on Amazon, and I think it was sold out on Best Buy for their Black Friday. They also had it for $20. Dead Space, 40 bucks, or maybe it was $35, but... Um, it was the only one I kind of went over, I think, $30 for because, at least for myself, because I'd, I've been wanting to play this game. It was like a toss-up between this and Resident Evil 4. I don't know if I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I started playing the second one, and man, it's just a cumbersome game. You just feel like you're playing against, you know, moving slowly. It's like a nightmare where you, you're kind of trying to run, but you, you can't because everything's slow because you're actually running in your bed and it's, you're resisting all your covers and stuff. That's what Resident Evil feels like. So I went for Dead Space. I played this for like five minutes on the 360 back in the day and I had a 360 in like the PS4 era and it just felt a little dated. So I'm excited that they've remade it. And um, yeah, I love aliens. I love space. I love horror and sci-fi. So I'm pumped. This was like $20. I'm excited to play this one. I didn't realize it had 16 games. It's weird for the Switch box. They... They added some cardboard, so it kind of looks like it's a PlayStation-sized box. But yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, $15, can't go wrong, like holy smokes. But then Walmart was like, we have it for $35 or something like that. But then Best Buy, it's their version, even has their stamp, which is kind of cringy, but it's a cosmic edition, so it comes with some extra digital things. So you're getting more for $15 than the blank version, but maybe a collector would want that clean box without the Best Buy junk on there. But I was like, I mean, I don't really care. I've got the game now, $15. It's, I played the first one for like a couple hours. I was just over tactics games at the time. But I think I should give another chance. But anyways, this is my library. i got my whole life to play it. Bomberman 2. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm kind of negative. But I did not like the first Bomberman, but I love Bomberman in general. And it's a great multiplayer game. You can play up to eight players in this one as well. No one's talking about Bomberman 2. It sure went uh, down in price really fast. I think this was also $15. Uh, so you can't really go wrong. And yeah, I just can't wait to play with family and stuff. I hope there's more features. I don't really know much about it. I remember it came out and it was like, oh, cool, they make another one. And then, yeah, no one talked about it. $15 again. So I played Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, let's get that centered here. Uh, so Fire, that was uh, a great experience, great story. And then I saw, I never got into the Switch ones because I was kind of Fire Emblemed out. I played Fates, actually had the three pack for that one, but I just... It was so, I don't know, it felt random. It was like it was throwing way too much at me. And looking at like people who rank the Fire Emblem games, they're like, yeah, that was not one of the best ones. But at the time, people were like, no, it's amazing. But yeah, it was just like not as good as Awakening, even though it had, I think if you just wanted to play the game, the game mechanics, maybe it was better. But the story was lame. Uh, it was just a lot. Yeah, the marriage system, not that I care about a marriage system, but it confused the heck out of me. This one, though, is highly regarded. Uh, I think it was the first Switch one, Three Hopes. Yeah, I thought it was three houses. And um, I'm looking forward. I remember seeing it advertised, and I was like, I'm just not willing to pay $60 for it. But $15? And this one disappeared fast. I don't think you can get it for that price anymore. It went up to $25. Uh, they kind of sold out even at, at, on Amazon for a second. But yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to try that one, get into Fire Emblem again. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a while since I've done... Yeah, it's another tactics game, but whatever. Rocky and Pocky. Reshined. I don't even think this is a remake. I think it's a fully new game. It's like widescreen, but look at that retro art. I might have even played it. I can't remember. Do I have it digitally? I just, I think this is also $15. And yeah, you just can't go wrong. We're at the era of the Switch's life where games are less than $20. And that might not last forever. I remember seeing like 
uh, Zelda Phantom Hourglass or maybe Spear Tracks in a bargain bin and I didn't go for it. It was like less than $10 or something. Same with the game Aliens by Way Forward. Um, that game was, I got for like $8 and I sold it because I didn't really like it. And now they're up for like, I mean, Zelda is like almost $100 and the Aliens game is, you know, getting up there too. We're in that era of the Switch's life where you can get games for really cheap and I think it's good to snag them while you can and just build up the collection even if you don't have time to play it because you may go back and then now all of a sudden it's worth a lot. Like, oh shoot, and like maybe the digital store is down and so you can't play, you can't download these games so you need the physical and then, you know, prices will skyrocket because that store's down. That hasn't happened with Wii U. Prices haven't really skyrocketed uh, since their digital store went down but then that's also the Wii U. It's a little bit of a weird system. These are actually Christmas presents for some people who play games they like. NBA 2K24, and this uh, this I paid, I think it was $30, which is the deal, uh, Black Friday deal. This was not, Black uh, Sorry, I mean 2 was not on sale, and I would buy it for myself, but I think by the time I play it, it'll be like 30 bucks, because this game, I haven't beat the first one, but now I got my portal, I'm trying to beat it. I gotta beat that, I gotta beat the Miles one, I'll take a break, and then I'll play this one when they're ready, when they start announcing the third game. I'm pretty sure that's how that's gonna go. And then yeah, even though this is about gaming, I got some Criterion Collection, uh, Blu-rays. I think this Thelma and Louise, which I haven't seen any of these movies, but this Criterion is kind of uh, highly sought after. I don't even know if it was a Black Friday deal, but they're $25. They always kind of go off down for 50%. I don't think this one really has, but yeah, these are all 4K. So, you know, Gamil Del Toro, he's like, you know, we, we have to curate our, our physical media collections. So, so do it, do your part. So that's what I'm doing, I'm doing my part. Yeah, a couple of Scorsese movies I haven't seen yet either, and I got them in 4K. Unfortunately, my only 4K player is the PS5, and I guess the Xbox uh, Series X, and they're not very good uh, 4K players because they don't do Dolby Vision. Does this have anything besides Dolby Vision? No. So I, I don't know what that means. Does that mean it just plays it normally then, or does that use HDR10? Man, HDR confuses me, and I, I like work in video, and I still don't. Yeah, at some point I gotta I gotta cough up the money to get like a premium 4K Blu-ray player. But anyways, that's my haul. Y'all get anything? I was close to getting one of those arcade one-up cabinets, but I just don't have the room. I got a lot of little kids running around. I mean, they would think it's fun. Man, my wife would kill me. She would be like, I used to have an arcade cabinet. Man, I, I want one. But then I, I kind of like the countertop ones, but they got such little screens. I don't know, man. I kind of want them though, but you know, at some point things just get a little ridiculous and you got to slow down. Even this, um, yeah, I think I got a little carried away, but anyways, happy Black Friday, everybody. See you in the next video.